welcome back as we look forward to the return of Premier League football this weekend. Before the international break, a score of 74 points saw a small green arrow, despite a failed gamble with captaincy. Leaving Costas Simicas on the bench proved costly, as Cash and Gabriel each conceded consolation goals in respective wins over Fulham and Burnley. Aston Villa and Arsenal each ranked among the top five teams for expected goals conceded in Game of 12. Son Heung-min produced the only blank in midfield, attempting just the one shot against Wolves, while Bukayo Saka failed to justify the gamble on captain seat despite a lively outing against Burnley, where he carved out three attempted assists and had a shot saved onto the crossbar. It was a week where captaincy was split between Salah and Haaland, which typically presents a lower risk for going differential, but not when those two both score braces. The Norwegian claimed a game week high four big chances in an eight goal thriller with Chelsea. Also on the score sheet, Ollie Watkins racked up a leading 1.35 non penalty expected goals during the round. So let's move on to the transfer plans for game week 13. There's one free transfer and 0.2 million in the bank, the exact amount needed to upgrade Simon Adingra to Cole Palmer. With six goal involvements in the last six game weeks and favourable long term fixtures, the budget friendly penalty taker is hard to ignore. Spot kicks aside, his tally of four big chances created since game week seven can only be beaten by Bernardo Silva with five. I am a little concerned by the imminent return of Christopher Nkunku a quality attacking player who's bound to impact the minutes of Chelsea's current front four and has scored eight of his nine career penalties. But I would expect Palmer to at least keep spot kick duties until he misses one. Ideally, I'd prefer to give it a couple more weeks to see how things play out with Nkunku, but with money tight and Palmer likely to rise again in price before the game week 13 deadline, it's a move I feel somewhat rushed into making this week. Brian Mbermo is still in my thoughts as a potential target for game week 14, but I'll struggle to accommodate him as things stand. I'll be reluctant to sell Bowen, providing his injury scare is nothing serious, or Son Hyung Min despite the question marks over Tottenham's form. So going early on Palmer will give me the option of keeping those three and potentially going without Mbermo for the time being. I should also note that Simon Adingra is far from an easy sell. He scored a sensational goal last game week, effortlessly gliding through the Sheffield United defence with sublime dribbling and close control, and then took his form onto the international stage to score his first goal for Ivory Coast. But Brighton are winless in six, and the fixtures toughen up slightly in the next three game weeks. So Adingra to Palmer is the plan, more with game week 14 in mind than his trip to Newcastle this weekend. And here's how the team is set to line up. Alphonse Ariola has kept just one clean sheet this season, but the form of Burnley offers a reason to be optimistic. The Clarets have failed to score four times in the last seven game weeks. They've averaged a league low 0.67 goals per game in home matches. Though a clean sheet looks unlikely, Matty Cash has been given more license to shoot in away matches it seems. 15 of his 19 shots this season have come on the road, where he's found both his goals. No defender has claimed as many as his four big chances in away matches. Yoki Madison has helped Crystal Palace to four clean sheets in the last seven game weeks. No side have scored fewer goals than Luton in their last four home matches, with three. Only Sheffield United, Bournemouth and Palace have fashioned fewer big chances in that time. Gabriel has attempted a leading tally of five shots in the box among Arsenal defenders this season, and the Gunners have shipped a league low three goals on the road keeping three clean sheets in five away matches. Brentford have lost all three meetings with last season's top six, scoring just one goal. Hindered by Madison's absence, Son Heung-min failed to record a single touch in the opposition box last game week. But he has in his favour Aston Villa's relatively poor away record, which has seen them concede 12 goals in six. In fact, only Luton have given up more than their 22 big chances on the road. Mohamed Salah is up to double figures for goals this season, but just two of his 10 strikes have come away from home, and one of those was a penalty. The Egyptian has claimed only three big chances on the road compared to nine at Anfield. Man City have allowed just three goals in home matches, where only Arsenal have conceded fewer expected goals per game. Bakayo Saka has provided three assists in the last four game weeks, trailing only Gallagher and Doku. Among teammates, only Trossard fares better for expected goal involvements in that time. Brentford have conceded 10 goals in home matches this season. Only Wolves, Sheffield United and Burnley have allowed more on average. 
there's a strong case to field Cameron Archer ahead of Bournemouth's visit to Bramwell Lane. He's found three goal involvements in his four home matches for the Blades, averaging 6.3 points per game, and no teammate has attempted more than his eight shots in that time. The Cherries have conceded a league-high 17 goals on the road this season. Ollie Watkins has been afforded six big chances in the last four game weeks, only Haaland with eight has claimed more. A 90-minute man, the Aston Villa forward is ideal for the upcoming festive period, despite some trickier fixtures. Still without their first choice centre-back pairing, Tottenham have shipped six goals in their last two matches. Jared Bowen will need to be assessed after suffering from knee discomfort in training with England, though Gareth Southgate was hopeful it wouldn't be anything too serious. West Ham will be hoping that's the case, with Mikel Antonio facing a spell on the sidelines. Bowen has scored in all six away matches this season, playing a direct hand in seven of his team's ten away goals and averaging 8.3 points. Only Haaland and Julian Alvarez have attempted more than his 19 shots on the road. Opponents Burnley have shipped a league-high 18 goals in home matches, where only Wolves and Sheffield United have conceded more big chances. Also an injury doubt, Erling Haaland left international duty with a recurrence of the ankle problem that troubled him against Bournemouth in Game Week 11. The Norwegian has been back to his best either side of that fixture, with five goals and two assists in the last four game weeks, where he's averaged 10.3 points per game. Liverpool have allowed only one goal in the same period, keeping three clean sheets, but the Reds have conceded in each of their six away matches this season. Captaincy will in part be determined by injury updates later in the week, but I'm leaning towards Haaland as it stands with Bowen a very close second choice, assuming both are past fit.